When we talk about the programming of phases, it is much about integrating existing presets into our steps. And this was a kind of manual process in the former versions. And we changed this in Graname 3 version 1.7. Now in the on PC, it's a little bit different than on the console. So on the console, you just have to press and hold the step key. This is the X5 key in your command section. Here in the on PC, I will replicate this with the workflow of using the step macro. So what we do is we take our spots and we bring them to full. And we want to create a three-step color phaser. So we want to create a color phaser with our red, our blue, and our green preset. On the console, as mentioned, you just have to press and hold the X5 key, which says step as well. Here in the on PC, I used the step macro to say step red, step blue, and step green. And it will automatically create the three-step color phaser. As mentioned, on the console, you just press and hold the step key and you select red, blue, and green, and it will automatically create the three-step color phaser. So a nice improvement into the workflow of creating phases with already existing presets. It also goes a step forward. So we take another example where we say we have our spots and we bring them to full again. And we press and hold the step key on the console. Here on the on PC, I step red and we say step on the center and we say step blue and on the position roof floor. And as you see, it will automatically create the phaser. So as long as you hit new attributes, it will stay in the same step. And as soon as you hit the same attribute again, it will put it into the next step. So there is a kind of intelligence behind this step logic when you just press and hold the step key on the console. Let's come back to the original three-step color phaser. So we take our spots, we bring them to full, and on the console we press and hold the step key and we say red, blue, and green to create a three-step color phaser. Now, in the phaser editor, we implemented a new view, which is called sheet view. And in this sheet view, you can see all the relevant information, what happens in your steps. So you can see all your steps and all the layers with all the different values. This was, of course, a big wish of all of you guys, all the operators, all the users, that they immediately want to see what happens in their steps. So our step number two is blue. And imagine we select the step number two and we go into the color and we put the transition of blue down to 20% and the width as well. So we put it down to 20% like that. So we have a short bump into blue. You can see it here in the 2D layout. We have a short bump into blue and we have a fade of red and green. As soon as you do this, normally the timing of your phaser totally gets messed up and you manually had to recalculate the timing of all of your steps. Therefore, we implemented a new layer which is called measure. And in this measure layer, we can decide now how long a complete phaser cycle should be, depending on the beats per minute. So I could choose one beat per minute and everything which happens in the phaser will take care of one beat. So the whole phaser cycle will need one beat to be completed. So with 60 beats per minute, it will run 60 times a minute. Doesn't matter how many steps I have, how the transition or the width is. I can also say that the whole phaser cycle should be one beat, or I decide to make it four beats long. And you can see with the blue lines here, it will be four beats in total. So this is on the one hand, a possibility to get rid of the manual recalculation of the timing. So this will be done automatically. And on the other hand, it's more a way for you to program directly to the beats of your music. So some nice workflow improvements regarding the phases. Just check this out in the new Grandamate 3 version 1.7.